All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today we're going to be talking about Kendrick. Drake actually was supposed to drop a diss track, and it still might come out, called Man in the Mirror. But uh, I'm thinking it was infiltrated by Kendrick in his camp. And uh, I think he really do got a mole working in Kendrick's camp. But yeah, we're going to come back and talk about it. Alright, look, man. If you want us to react to your stuff on Sketchpad Reactions, cue cards on the screen, links on the screen. If you want to donate, that's on the screen as well. You know what I'm saying? Everything's here. Make sure you hit that like and make sure you subscribe. Look, man. So Kendrick Lamar, Drake, is the war really really over? Or is it just beginning? I'm thinking that Drake is too obsessed with the loss and he has to get his gig back. So Absol goes on Twitter and Absol says some things. I'm going to place that on the screen. And he says some things to Drake, basically telling Drake, like you need to chill, bro, because you really don't want, want it. But he also told Drake, if you are the MC that I think you are, then redemption isn't isn't off the table. You can redeem yourself, but don't get it twisted. You can't really fu- you can't fuck with gang, bro. Like you saying like like you really ain't, you can't fuck with what we doing over here, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I think that Drake had a song. It was called Man in the Mirror, and Kendrick do has a, do have a mole. Or someone in Drake's camp feeding him information. And I think that they probably he probably heard the song. And Absol basically came out and let to let Drake know that we heard the song. So it's that's not it. And I heard it was supposed to drop, but then Drake's label, they pulled it back. Because whoever's around him is telling him. See, the thing is, Drake don't really know who's talking. Because he got a bunch of guys around him, and those guys could be working for whoever. You know what I'm saying? Everything Mm -hmm. he said in that that song, 616, he basically said, like, look, dudes that you running with, they really don't like you like that. They want you out of here. I'm just being honest with you. I'm telling you right to your face. And I I believe him. I believe that he has some people working in Drake's camp. And I know people probably laughing like, oh, that's not true. Well, let's go through the timeline. How would he know that Drake was going to drop a song called Family Matters and then he dropped a song called Meet the Grams? That doesn't make sense. Some of the stuff that he said in, um, in, in Family Matters, Kendrick basically said, I think Kendrick heard the song before it. I mean, how coincidental was that, that this man drops a song called Family Matters and then Kendrick drops a song about his family, about Drake's family? How, it, it, can Kendrick see the future? Like, come on now. It has, this has to be, I don't know if that's a coincidence. How would that, that would be a crazy coincidence that you drop a song called Family Matters and then I drop a song the same day, 15 minutes later, talking about your family. Is Kendrick, mm. can he record that fast and they mix it and put it out? I don't think so. I don't think nobody mm. can record four different verses. A song, the song is almost seven minutes long, four different verses, mix it and put it out in 15 minutes. I don't, I don't see that happening. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. It has to be somebody feeding him something. There's some type of information being told to Kendrick. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that Drake, at this point, he really needs to just chill. Stop, stop everything. Um, I'm going to get into what I think the song is about. I ain't hear it, but I'm going to get into what I think it's about. But I'm going to let you go. And then I'm going to tell y'all what I believe the song is about. But go ahead. Yeah. Uh, man, listen. Uh, why, Drake? <laughs> why? Like, just when we thought that, you know, everything was like, you know, just over and done with and just rest easy. All of a sudden now, he wants to come back into the forefront and then and then drop it on a sneak. Yeah. Have you not learned anything from the last few encounters with this man? Have you not learned anything? Like a lot of people, when they in battles, right? They record information. When I mean record information, they observe what transpired in this battle and then they learn from it and they move forward so if they encounter something like this again they know how to handle it so basically you trying to use the same tactics that you've been using in this whole entire time and it's not working it's not working furthermore by now you should have some sort of like you know, thoughts in your mind that, oh, maybe, maybe there is a mole in my camp. You know what I'm saying? Because if I was on, if I was, I'll be like this. If I was Drake, right? For one, I'd have been done with the battle and stuff, right? Two, I'm, 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 I'm getting rid of my whole entire entourage that I feel that's involved. Anybody that I expect. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just get uh, get them out of there. Fire. Here, here goes your holiday advance. Bye. Go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Because you out here, you out here, you you apparently you don't know whose it is, but yeah, you got people telling you that you should do it. It's not a good business decision. You know what I'm saying? It's not because it already killed you for 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 the rest of this. Like, let's face it, we don't expect to hear too much from Drake the rest of this year. If we do, it's going to be on some corny, kooky crap like we heard with him and Sexy Red. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be on nothing on no major scale. And that's not even to be funny. I'm just saying, like, anything on a major scale, we're probably not going to hear it from him the rest of the year. Unless it's one, unless it's something out of the, out of the realm, like when he did that that one song that he did or whatever, and he was singing or something like that. I don't know. But I'm just saying, man, it's just, it's not a good choice. He need to fall back and chill. But like you said, the ego won't let him fall back. And whoever's in his camp telling him, keep pushing him forward, keep telling him to go ahead, go ahead, is enticing the whole thing, is probably the guy that wants him out of here. You know what I mean? He he just I don't think Drake chooses his company his company wisely. I think he I think he just gathered people along the way. You know what I'm saying? These are probably not people that have his best interest at heart. These are probably people that definitely want him out of here, like Kendrick said. They definitely. You know, but I mean I can't say I'm not surprised, but you know, at the same time, like, you know. <laughs> My man ain't learned his lesson yet. Yeah, um I think the song is called Man in the Mirror. I think that Drake probably he probably was talking about himself because I heard mm -hmm. Excuse me. I heard that there were two different versions. I heard the first version was a version about him basically looking at all his flaws and talking about his flaws. And he was talking to himself mm -hmm. and he, and mm -hmm. basically he was saying like, 
yeah, this is this is who I am. And I, I'm sorry, I can't be no other way. And I'm gonna try my best to change, like basically submitting to Kendrick saying, OK, you got me, bro. But I'm gonna come back better than ever. But then I heard it was another version where he was saying he was talking to the man in the mirror about them, about Kendrick. And about Ross, and he was talking about how basically they're hypocrites because basically they're 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 uh they deal with white women and all this other racial thing, racial stuff. I want me I'm gonna lean more towards the second op the second one because I think that Drake mm-hmm. I think that he has an ego problem and mm-hmm. he never took a loss. Because he's always been winning. He's always been going around winning. Well, he never really had to. But this time, he don't understand. Like, this this one here is not the same as the other ones. All the disses that happened to him before, they was there. They stuck, but they really didn't stick. So when I told my boy, mm-hmm. I said, Kendrick is going to go after him as a person, as a character. Because a lot of people, they go after Drake. And they say certain things. Now, Joe Buttons tried it. If you listen to all this, the five disses that he did on Drake, he said exactly the same thing that Kendrick said. Same thing. But it's mm-hmm. different coming from somebody that people believe in and listen to. See, people like Joe, but they don't believe in Joe. They don't listen to Joe as like he's that. He's like a prophet. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's a super dope, talented rapper, but he's not presented as a prophet Kendrick is so when Kendrick says something it could be something tiny people analyze it because they think they Mm -hmm. feel like it's coming from somebody like a prophet right that's why Drake is in trouble because Mm -hmm. he made people look at Drake like really look at him not look at him like oh he's a star now look at him like no he's not just a pop star. He's actually a colonizer. He actually does go and steals people's stuff. That's the white side Mm -hmm. of him. Like he put that out there and a lot of people. So I think that Drake is egotistical. And I think that he has this thing where he don't like the way everything went because he has to be in, in control. He's not in control no more. Nothing he does mm-hmm. is going to affect anything anymore. He's going to come out with songs mm-hmm. and people going to probably still like him, but nobody's going to take him serious no more. He's going to be that artist that people just look at that make songs. He's not going to be a major threat to anybody anymore because even though people want to still listen to him, he's not going to be considered to be in that class anymore. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to be that guy anymore. I, and that's just the, the bottom line. Like, look at look at everything that ha- that's happening right now. He dropped four songs, and, what, and no one can tell me about none of these songs. He dropped four. Mm-hmm. Four songs. And none of them in the top 20. That tells you right there where, he, where he's headed. All yeah. his songs are in the toilet. All of them. Like all his songs. So it's like, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, he kind of put, well, not kind of, he put himself in this situation. I'm just, I'm just, for me, I'm just like, yo, that's weird. Like, why you... Why do you want to continue to engage with the guy? You know what I'm saying? Like you, you took that L, just take it on the chin and keep it moving. Like, you know what I mean? You going, he going to ruin his career. His career is going to be over for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he, Drake is a curious cat. He's curious where he will play with fire. So he really wants to hear what Kendrick has. He want to hear what he got. Mm-hmm. And I think that 
here's the thing, and I want to say this, and I know this episode is pretty long, but we can get out of here. Um, the thing about Drake and Kendrick is he didn't believe Kendrick could do what he did to him. So I think he wanted to hear what else Kendrick has because even he likes Kendrick's mm-hmm. songs because he admitted, him, admitted it himself that he liked not, not like us. So if it wasn't filled with a bunch of lies, I, that is something I could I can actually dance to. It's a bop. You know what I'm saying? But whether it's filled with a bunch of lies or not, you just admitted that the song is pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, mm-hmm. I wish people stopped thinking that Kendrick can only do one song like that. He can do 10 million songs. He is that good that he can make 10 records the same way if he wanted to. Mm-hmm. And they will all be big. That's the thing. So people thinking that they like, oh, well, he's lucky he got this one hit. What? Come on. I'm arguing with this boy today. He's talking about Kendrick had one hit. I'm like, one hit? I'm like, bro, we could go down a list. You know what I'm saying? We go down a list. From swimming pools to uh, uh, down to humble, down to loyalty, like so many. So I'm like, bro, yeah, don't hit me with the whole hit thing. Like, this is his biggest record, but this is also this record is also bigger than most of the Drake records. Mm-hmm. So should I say Drake has has the hits too? Don't have hits. So I don't know, man. But uh Yeah, it's gonna be interesting, man, if Drake drops another diss track. That's great because yeah, we get to react to it. So and Kendrick gonna drop yeah. something after that. So, so. Mm-hmm. I know he's I know I know Kendrick is waiting. Like, listen, bro, mm-hmm. you don't wanna drop nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I feel I feel like he's He's lurking, man. He's lurking. He's waiting. So yeah. we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right, man. We out of here. Sketchpad, you know what it is. See y'all. Peace.